was traveling with the intolerable kid on the Nova Lark. We were on the nod after a rumble in the Crad Nebula involving this two-way time stop. When you come to the end of a biologic film, just run it back and start over. Nobody knows the difference, like nobody there before the film. So they start to run it back and the projector blew up and we land out of there on the blast. Hold up in those cool blue mountains on the nod. A heavy blue mist drifting across the floor, and the liquid air in our spines listening to a little high fi jump note. Fixes you right to metal, and you nod out a thousand years. Yes, sitting there in orange flesh roll, the blue mist drifting around us when we get the call. And as soon as I set foot on Podunk Earth, I can smell it. That burnt metal reek of Nova. Already set off the charge, I said to I and I, immovable and irresistible. This is a burning planet. So intolerable I and I sniffs and says, yeah. When it happens, it happens fast. This is a rush job. You could feel it there under your feet, the whole structure buckling like a bulkhead about to blow. So the paper has a car there for us, and we are driving in from the airport, the kid at the wheel and his foot on the floor. Nearly ran down a herd of pedestrians, and they yell after us, What you want to do, kill somebody? And the kid sticks his head out and screams, It would be a pleasure. His eyes lit up like a blowtorch, and I can see he's really in form. So we start right to work making our headquarters in the land of the free where the call came from, and which is really free and wide open for any life form, the uglier the better. <clears throat> well, they don't come any uglier than the intolerable kid and your reporter. He's a great guy, the kid, or at least he's big. But Jesus Christ, I hate him. Everyone does, that being his profession. When a planet is all primed to go up, they call in I and I to jump around from one fact to the other, agitating and insulting all the parties before and after the fact. You have to move fast on this job. 